Shalom to the elect of Israel. Got to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Reka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the oxen pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the elect. Shalom to the Akwaf who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming at you another lesson in truth, facts, faith, and edification. And this is Esau Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite, the so-called white man, letting you know that they are trying to stop this truth from going out any way possible. Even though the truth is already out, but what they're trying to do is find ways to stop the rest of this message going out. But as the scriptures say, the elect going to get sealed, man, no matter what. But this is Esau Edom trying his best to stop the truth going out that they are the Hebrew Edomites and all they do is destroy and all they do is create destruction. They don't want no more of this truth coming out. Well, the truth is out, man. And the elect is going to get sealed. And people will know that you are the Edomites of the Bible. You are the wicked according to the Bible. Lord's willingness be edifying. We work with, with Google on using AI to try to interrupt cybernate before it happens. We work with YouTube to, have, to get them to change their algorithms. So it lessens the likelihood that a young person is going to run into some of these anti- Semitic conspiratorial videos. And it ain't it ain't Semitic. It's Shemitic for these dummies. And he tell my uh cyber hate. Hey, cause they know that according to the scriptures, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah hate the so-called white man. He hate the Edomites. And they know that. We work with Facebook on trying to use a redirect method so when you search for Holocaust. As a hoax, you get directed to like a Yad Vashem page. See, when they got, when people are searching for history, he tell me as a Holocaust hoax. Listen, man, we know Holocaust was a hoax, man. Okay? We know that wasn't real. Hitler didn't kill no Jews, man. Okay? We know that wasn't real, man. But what he's saying is, when you go into these sites looking for the truth, they're going to try to deflect you to some other page. That has nothing to do with what you're looking for. That's basically what he's saying. So there are different ways they can tweak their algorithms and adjust their products. So they think not only about free speech, um, not only protect the user's right to free speech, but protect the user's right to not be harassed or hated. See, this is what Esau Edom do, man. They don't want the truth coming out because now this word is getting to them. It has been getting to them for a while, man. But now... It's really destroying these Edomites, man. And they know, because they see all these camps everywhere, whether it's GMS or some other camp, hey, they still telling you Edomites that you are the devil, man. Okay? They still telling you Edomites that you are the devil. Everybody ain't speaking on the RFD microchip, which is the mark of the beast, but they're telling all these so-called white people that they are the devil and that they are going into captivity for the iniquity of their fathers. And they hate hearing that, man. But it's the truth. Does say the Lord, man. They've done some good things to deal with very specific cases by taking swifter action when per when people perpetrate online bullying or online harassment. See, that online bullying that he referring to is these Hebrew these Hebrew Israelites pushing the truth, man. Okay, these Edomites are pissed off, man. And they had no other way to stop the truth but controlling the web, man. The Internet of Things, man. Um, Washington, you know, there are there are there's a gap in the in the legal regime. There are techniques that um, extremists have used online to terrorize Jews and other people. You heard like, that? They terrorize Jews. They make the real Jews in Israel, man. They are not the Jews, man. Jew come from the Judah, man. Okay, that's one tribe, man. Existing laws and need to be. Because he said it ain't covered by existing laws and it needs to be. 
What laws, man? Ye break all the laws. These Edomites broke all the laws, man. They established their own righteousness. Uh, Salakia. They established their own wickedness. Their own laws. Okay? So, you know, the, the school principal says, well, it's not really bullying because no one has a bloody nose. Right. It's not really bullying. It is bullying because it's through the word, man. Because, hey, they always say sticks and stones may break your bones, but words don't hurt. Words do hurt, man. Okay? If you're coming out of these scriptures, man, the words do hurt, man. Hebrews 4 and 12, man. The word of the Lord is sharp. The any two-edged sword, man. Cutting. Cutting, man. This word cuts, man. And these Hebrew Edomites don't want to hear this truth, man. Because they know that they ask going to captivity, man. And I'm going to start this back again and let it ride. We work with, with Google on using AI to try to interrupt cyber hate before it happens. We work with YouTube to, have, we, to get them to change their algorithms. So it lessens the likelihood that a young person is going to run into some of these anti-Semitic conspiratorial videos. We work He's talking about the Hebrew Israelites. To use a redirect method so when you search for Holocaust as a hoax, you get directed to like a Yad Vashem page. So there are different ways they can tweak their algorithms and adjust their products so they think not only about free speech, um, not only protect the user's right to free speech, but protect the user's right to not be harassed or hated. They've done some good things to deal with very specific cases by taking swifter action when, per when people perpetrate online bullying or online harassment. Um, Washington, you know, there are there are there's a gap in the in the legal regime. There are techniques that um, extremists have used online to terrorize Jews and other people, like doxing and swatting and different forms of cyberbullying that are not covered by existing laws and need to be, because the you know the, the school principal says well it's not really bullying because no one has a bloody nose. Hey, Esau Edom. These red Hebrew Edomites, they do have a bloody nose. It's a spiritual bloody nose, man, because they are destroyed by the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Point blank, period, man. Right, but in very fact, the abuse online can be far, far worse than anything physical. So, hey, did you hear that? The abuse online is far worse than more anything that's physical, man. Let's read it. This is Hebrews. Hey, that's beautiful, man. Hey, these Edomites are destroyed in the spirit, man. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing sunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hey, man, these Edomites are destroyed, man. Okay? They can't take it, man. Hey, this word making them kill themselves, man. This is Isaiah 24 and verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, which is East, South, Edom, the so-called white man, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth. Who is the curse of the earth? East, South, Edom, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Okay? Listen, man. The point was, therefore, have the curse devoured the earth. That curse, which is devouring the earth, is Esau eating the so-called white man. That's why Revelation 11, 18, the Lord say, he will destroy them who's destroying the earth, man. Okay? Because they transgress by wine. What? Their philosophies, man. They transgressed by wine, man. Their philosophies had destroyed the whole earth. Their democracy had destroyed the whole earth. And now the truth is coming out on these Edomites. Now they don't want to hear the truth, man. But guess what? The truth is out, man. And so, me doing this lesson is to let... Jake Snow out there, man, that... They trying to stop the internet, man. That's the whole point of this interview. 
They trying to shut down the internet, man, so this truth can't go out. This is Isaiah chapter 30. In verse 20. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, meaning slavery, whatever got to come with adversity and affliction, man. Okay? Because... Like Michael uh, 7 and 9 say, we have to bear the nation of the Lord because we, we sin against the Lord. So, though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the word of affliction, ye shall, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Where are you going to see your teachers at? On the highways and byways, man. Pushing this truth. Okay. So, though they try to shut down the internet, man, guess what? Long as the Lord got his his, uh, his prophets in the highways and byways, the truth is going to go out, man. Okay? But them shutting down the internet, it's finna come Amos 8 and 11, man. Okay? A famine of the word. You ain't gonna be able to get this truth no more. Because if we ain't out in the highways and byways, we're on the, we on the unicorn, man, which is the internet. If you don't see brothers in the highways and byways, guess what? If you go to YouTube, you see all type of GMS videos. Or you see all type of Hebrew Israelite videos. Bring out the truth. They trying to shut this down, man. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the left hand. And when ye turn to the right. When ye turn to the right hand. And when ye turn to the left. So when you... You're going to hear this word, man. Well, it said when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. That's in the highways and byways, man. You're going to hear that voice behind you say, this is the way walk ye in it. So all these people that's talking about, uh, you don't got to go out to the highways and byways to teach the truth. They bug out of their mind, man. That's straight lies. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 5. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 4. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. What's the gaps? Going out to the highways and byways to teach the truth. That's the gaps. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the day of battle in the day of the Lord. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So these prophets, these false prophets, these ones that's in these king houses, in these churches, they ain't up in the gaps, man. Then you got, you got these false prophets and pastors that is in the, out there in the highways that's not teaching you the whole truth, man. But the point of this lesson is, you're supposed to be in the highways and byways teaching the truth, man. This is, um, Luke. Matter of fact, it's Matthew 22 and verse, let's start at one. And Yahweh shall answer and speak unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servant to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants saying, Tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fattens are killed, and all things are ready, coming to the marriage. But they made light of it and went their way. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. So, hey, they playing games, man. They don't want to come to this truth. The Lord say, but they made light of it and went their way. One to his farm, another to his merchandise, and the ram that took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. So to let you know that they despise the words of the Lord, man. Okay? Though the servants out there telling the truth, they despise the words of, the, of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. They despise the words of the Lord. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Okay? And this is what's going to happen, man. 
That's a future prophecy, man. All you that despise the words of the Lord, you shall be destroyed, man. All you two-third Israelites that despise the words of the Lord and you won't cleave and take heed to it, you're going to be destroyed for that. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden was not worthy. Go ye therefore unto the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So the servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Listen. We keep reading said, when the king came to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not only a wedding garment, meaning this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the truth. And he said to him, Friend, how camest thou in, in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into idle darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Man, he's going to get destroyed, man, either by famine, race riot, concentration camps, this martial law, which is, race, which, which is concentration camps, and by the missiles of the chariots, man. The point is, he said, go to the highways and byways, man. This is Luke. Luke, six, uh, Luke 14, we start at 16, and it reads, then said he unto them, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servants at supper time to say unto them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must need go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. Another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thy hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be going to the highways and byways, man. Out there in the streets, in this truth. And I'm going to go to the antimonic on that too, on highways, streets, and lanes. So, this is Song of Solomon, chapter 3, which is one of the scriptures that I love to go to. But it's showing you how Solomon went out in the city to get the truth. He didn't go in some temple. He went to the city. Matter of fact, this is Acts chapter 7 verse 48. It must needs be read. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands as saith the prophet. As saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you be of me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? The heavens is his rest, man. Okay? He said, heaven is his throne, and earth is his footstool. Have not my hands made all these things? Ye still neck and uncircumcised in the heart and ears. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do you. So the Lord ain't dwelling in no temples, man. Okay? Each one of his elect men makes up a spiritual temple, man. Makes up a spiritual brick to his spiritual temple. And Yahweh shall be in the chief cornerstone, man. Okay? That's in Ephesians chapter 2. And it's in 1 Peter, man. 2 and 5. So, the Lord ain't in no temple, man. He's in the highways and byways. He said, what, two or three are gathered. I am in the midst of them, man. This is Son of Solomon chapter 3. By night on my bed, I saw him who my soul loved I saw him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets. Oh, since I read that, got to go to Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter 1. Because this truth 
It's not in a damn temple, man. It's on the highways and byways. Thus saith the Lord, man. These are the words of the Lord. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. That means a major part of the city, man, where it's constant back and forth moving with peoples everywhere. She cries in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttered her voice. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And scorn is delight in scorning, and fools hate knowledge. The point is, wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates. That means, where it's always back and forth business, back and forth movement. In the city, she uttered her words. Back in Wisdom of Solomon, Son of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. By night on my bed, I saw him who my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. So Solomon said he ain't find him sitting in his house. Okay? Basically, sitting in some temple, some building. That's what Solomon telling you. The Lord ain't in these churches, man. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the broadways. What's the broadways, man? Hey, major intersections, man. Okay? Well, you see, well, you see all the Hebrew Israelites said, man. And I'm talking about GMS. All the corners, man. The openings of the gates, meaning the chief place of the city, man. Which most likely to be downtown area. I will seek him who my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. It said, the watchmen that go about the city found me. Now, how did the watchmen go about the city found Solomon? Because he heard the words, man. Okay, it tell you in, in um, Isaiah 30 and 20, that thy eyes shall see thy teachers. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, saw ye whom my soul loveth. So Solomon asking the watchers of the city, do you know him whom my soul loveth? Listen to what Solomon said. It was but a little that I passed from them, but I found him who my soul loveth. So Solomon got the truth from the watchmen of the city, man. The Lord said he has set up watchmen for Israel. What does a watchman do? Stay watch on the enemy, man. Let you know that destruction is coming. Let you know that calamity is coming. Famine is coming. War is coming. It was but a little that I passed from them, but I found him who my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. So Solomon said when he came across the watchman of the city, he found him who his soul loveth, which is Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Now I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to this blue letter. And I'm going to go to Matthew 22. We're going to go into this Matthew 22 just to get the word highways, man. Matthew 29. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, be it to the marriage. Now let's go to the word highways. Let's look that up real quick. Highways. It says G 1327. A way 
out through. It's an outlet, exit. Literally the ways through which ways go out. That's what the elect supposed to be doing, going out, man. Okay? The place before the city where the roads from the country terminate, therefore outlets of the country, highways, also entrances into the city. An outlet through probably an open square highway. Now let's go. Let's go to Luke. Luke 14 and 16. Let's look at that. Luke 14 and 16. Now, Luke 14 and 21. So the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to the servant, Go quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city. Now, let's look at streets and lanes. We got streets. G four to one thirteen. It say a broad way, a street, a wide plat or place. That's why we always say this is our platform. A wide plat or place, opening square, man, street. Okay, same thing is said in Matthew, man. Now let's go back and look up lane. That was for street. Let's look up lane. Because this is important, man. Lanes. G4505. Lanes. G4505. Solomon said the same thing, man. He went about the city. Lane. A swing, rush, force, trail of a body in motion. Okay, of a body in motion. We are in the highways and byways, man. That's what we in, man. Okay, preaching this truth, man, in a body of motion, man. It's a, a track or way in a town shut in by buildings on both sides, man. And we got that in the highways and byways. When you look at these camps, hey, that's where they at, man. A street, a lane, man. An alley or avenue as crowded. Lane Street. Okay. Now let's go to Ezekiel. Chapter 12. Ezekiel. Chapter 12. And verse 5. Now let's, look up, let's look up what Gap say. Let's look up what Gap and Head say. Ezekiel 12 and 5. Ezekiel 13, Salaki. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 13 and 5. And ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in a day. In the to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Now let's look up gaps. Let's look up gaps. It say G sixty five fifty six. So look, it say H sixty five sixty six. Breach gaps. Bursting forth, bursting forth, outburst, breach, broken wall, outburst. You have not gone up to the breaches, man. Okay, gaps, the bursting forth, man. Which is what? In the highways and byways, man. Now let's look up hedge. Let's Let's look up hedge. 
Hedge, H, 14, 47. Fence, wall, enclosure, fence, hedge, wall. And there it is, man. In the highways and in the byways, man. Now, going back, showing you how these devils is trying to shut this truth out, man. This is what they're doing. They're trying to shut this truth out. But it ain't going to happen. They're trying to shut the truth out by any means necessary, man. They're trying to shut the truth out any way necessary, man. But it ain't. I'm going to play this one more time. You tell me he really likes some of the terrorized Jews. Because the you know the, the school principal says, "Well, it's not really bullying because no one has a bloody nose." That's Hebrews four and twelve. Right. In fact, the abuse online could be far far worse than anything. That's Hebrews four and twelve. You know, we need legislators to to catch up and to fill some of the gaps. And there it is, man. We work with. Okay, there with it is, man. So, Lord, witness the edifying. Got to give our praise to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the ark and pushing his truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the whole for the elect. Shalom to the ark while while listening and learning. Hey Amen. They trying to shut down the internet, man. That is Amos 8 and 11, man. Okay? Hey, you people gonna try to seek a vision of the Lord, man, from the prophets, and it ain't gonna be none, man. Okay? It tell you that in um, Ezekiel chapter 7, man, verse 26. Matter of fact, let me read that. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 26. And it reads, Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumors shall be upon rumor. Then they shall seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest." And counsel from the ancient. So ain't gonna be no vision, man. Okay? Ain't gonna be no vision. Because Amos 8 and 11 says this. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh power, that I will send a family in the land, not a family of bread, 
nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh, and shall not find it, man. So the time running out for you Jakes out there, man. Okay? The time is running out. Lord Willis, edifying, shalom.